In this video, we will learn how to file GSTR1 from Tally Prime. There are two methods to file GSTR1 from Tally Prime. The first method is to generate GSTR1 from Tally Prime and then upload the JSON file manually to GST portal to file GSTR1. And the other method is to directly file GSTR1 from Tally Prime. In this method, Tally Prime not only generates GSTR1 JSON file but it also uploads this JSON file to GST portal automatically to file GSTR1. So let's learn how we can file GSTR1 from Tally Prime. First of all, we have to go to GSTR reports. For this, we have to go to display more reports and then statutory reports. And now we have to go to GSTR1. And now we have opened GSTR1. We have to select the period. Our period is September month. You have to select the return month by pressing Alt F2 key. You can see that in our GSTR1, there is B2B invoices. And you can see that there is nothing in uncertain transactions. If there are some transactions in uncertain transactions, then we have to correct those transactions. Otherwise, our GSTR1 cannot be filed. So we can see that there is nothing in uncertain transactions and it should be like that. And so our return is ready to be filed. So let's file this GSTR1. For that we have to go to exports and then we have to go to GST returns. We have to cross check these details also. If everything is fine in these details then we can proceed to file GSTR1. You can see that there are two buttons, one is export and the other is send. These two buttons are two methods to file GSTR1. If you want to generate a JSON file also, then we can click this export button. Now you can see that folder path is this and uh, our JSON file will be exported in this folder. So to export this, we have to click this export button. Here you can see that GSTR1 JSON file has been generated. If you want to manually file GSTR1, then we can upload this JSON file to GST portal. So this was one of the method to file GSTR1. And now we will use other method to file GSTR1 from Tally Prime, which is the direct method to file GSTR1. So let's learn how to use this method to file GSTR1 directly from Tally Prime. So for this, we have to click the send button here it is written that gstr1 data will be uploaded to the portal do you want to continue so we will click yes here it is written that the gst username is not specified in the gst registration do you want to update gst username we have to click yes button here we have to fill gst username we have now filled gst username and we have to press enter key and now we have to accept this by pressing enter key and here we have to click send OTP button after clicking the send button an OTP will be sent to the registered mobile number and then we have to fill OTP to file GSTR1 after filling this OTP GSTR1 will be filed directly from Tally Prime to get more such videos don't forget to subscribe this channel